The fifth annual Mule Day celebration in Westmoreland is just around the corner. And as you're about to find out, organizers think this year's event is the biggest and best they've put together so far. It's quite a common sight to see wagon trains in Westmoreland for one week each September. Mules grab the spotlight in this small Sumner County town during the week-long Mule Day celebration. Jan Braun serves as the event coordinator for the Westmoreland Expo Center. She says this year's event will definitely stand out from the previous four Mule Day celebrations. We're expecting probably our largest wagon train that leaves daily and we're serving them breakfast before they leave and when they come in in the evening we're having supper, campfire and music every evening. So it's going to be real exciting just for that but there's so much more going on. On Wednesday evening we have donkey basketball and everybody's concerned but they have like rubber shoes on and so and by the way if you'd like to be on that team just let us know that that's going to be a lot of fun and then on Thursday we have what we call the Buck and Bray Mule Rodeo so we're making a little history right here in Westmoreland it's the first one ever so we'll have bucking mules and bucking bulls and one must be real careful when they say that too I might add but we're really looking forward to that uh, it's a first tier and we are going to have two arenas out back. Friday is family night. The very talented mule called Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace it was named as such because we'll kneel and pray at the cross, get mail out of the mailbox, plays keys, paints, and the paintings will be auctioned later in the evening. So it, that's quite a spectacular event right there alone to see that. But then they have what they call the pantyhose race and a potato race and just lots of fun things involved in Friday evening also, as well as the American Gated Mule competition for that evening. And we have cloggers coming in the afternoon, bluegrass bands, and all kinds of, of course, the mini mule competitions, the gated driving halter classes, all of those will be going on. Mule pull, we've added log loading and log pulling this year and we've had an equipment sale and concert of course with Ben Briley in concert this is his first in concert appearance American Idol um, Ben Briley right exactly he placed 11th just out of that top 10 but very well liked and very well received so he's really excited about uh, being his own headline act here. Also, we have the Ricky Reese band. I told him, is it okay to say that you play hardcore bluegrass? And I mean, he plays deep-rooted bluegrass. <laughs> and the interesting thing about him, on September the 5th, there's a movie release called The Identical. and stars Ashley Judd and Ray, Ray Liotta. And he has a track in that movie, and it's called Burning Rubber. So we're real excited to have him here also. And a real surprise to everybody, it says I must be mistaken, but I have this correct. Ray Comer from Citizens Bank, right here locally, has a great band called Flat Rock Ramblers. So they're going to be playing in that concert on Saturday evening where we have uh, a cakewalk that evening. We're having a dance auction, and you might be surprised who's in there to uh, be auctioned out to dance. And uh, fortunately, the music they'll be dancing to is called The Last Date, so it probably will be for a lot of those people. <laughs> and we're really looking forward to all the excitement at first ever. I think out here on the parking lot on the grounds, we're going to have a 12 to 15 ride carnival with the cotton candy and the whole ball of wax. So there's lots of rides, lots of entertainment, and geared toward children. Westmoreland's Katie Moss is this year's Mule Day Queen. It's an honor she says she isn't taking lightly. Why did you want to be the Mule Day Queen? At first, I was kind of iffy about it. I was kind of scared to do it. My dad was raised around the mules, and I he, he worked for the Reese Brothers Mule Company before I did. Mules have always been something I've been interested in and been part of since I was little. I've been working the mule sales for the races, and I heard about the contest, and I thought it would be something I'd be interested in doing, maybe get to hold that position for a year. And so what did you have to do to, to qualify and, and, and to participate in this uh, competition? What did you have to do to actually become the Mule Day Queen? I had to write an essay over the importance, importance of mules in Tennessee and do a beauty pageant. That's it. So you were in a beauty pageant then? Yes, sir. How was that? Easy. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Different than I expected it to be. And what do you anticipate you'll, you'll be doing during the Mule Day festivities for the week? I plan on making appearances, helping out any way I can, giving the kids tours around the places, teaching people about 
different things about mules and giving anybody any kind of information I can about mules here, mules anywhere else. If you go to this year's event, you can expect lots of fun. Organizers especially like to make the celebration kid friendly. You just never know who you might run into. The fifth Mule Day celebration is set for September 15th through the 21st. Reporting in Westmoreland, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.